I'm not the same person. It absolutely is. I was just reading this one. You say, you know, are you shaped or shapeless? Be honest. <laughs> you know, do you get winded exerting yourself? Are you, and this is what I love. I love, I love the sentence. Are your clothes shrinking in the dryer or are you expanding a bit? So now if I'm expanding, it's because my clothes were shrinking. No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, you say it's tough questions. Um, again, you know, and I, I live by the adage of, you know, action speak, meaning, you know, are you talking or are you walking? You know, there's a lot of people that talk and we even talk to ourselves, you know, yes, I'm going to, you know, exercise today. Yes, I'm going to go take care of that, that task that I don't want to deal with. Yes, I'm going to do this. But then do you do it or are you just talking? You know, yes, I'm going to write a book and I'm change my life or not. Um, so I, again, I, I just can't say enough about this book. Um, we've not met a person that hasn't finished it when we give it to them. They, you know, finish your book, read it all the way through. And to us, that's because it, it kept them captivated and and they love it. So congratulations. And, and I know you're very proud of it and you should be growing ageless, think young and live younger. Um, I want to get to the question. I got to get to this question. So <laughs> here it is. So on our podcast, what no one knows, can you share with our listeners a story that uh, not very many humans on this planet know about you or about your, your work? Sure. Well, it's, it's not a dirty secret, but, but it is something, and I do want women to be mindful of this. So, um, here I am, you know, post-divorce and, you know, there are things we don't pay attention to. I want to say one of them is our finances and our credit and things like that. We just don't. And I went to borrow some money for the first time from my credit union, which you're, if you're going to have any leniency, you're going to have it there. So I went to do a signature loan and I was declined. I'm like, well, how in the world can I be declined? I work for this company. You can payroll deduct. <laughs> So, I, and I had borrowed money before when I was married. So I called him. I says, why are you declining me? He says, uh, Sabrina. He called me by my first name because I borrowed before. He says, your credit is not good. I said, well, what do you mean it's not good? I mean, what do you mean not good? He says, well, you have a D. I said, a D? What do you mean? I have a D? What's a D? He says, like a 400. A 400? Are you kidding? Like, when did this happen? Right. That happened. That happened during the time, Lisa, where I wasn't paying attention to anything. I wasn't opening mail. I wasn't doing anything. And I didn't know that there had been some fraudulent activity. Well, I, I won't say who did it. I know who did it on my credit report, but it was a simple fix. If I had opened up my eyes and allowed myself to take care of me and hold some value, that would not have happened. It took me about eight months to straighten that out. So what I want to say to people, and that was very embarrassing, by the way, this is my employer, you know, my, but what I want to say about that is, you know, these mirror moments and affirmations are important. Don't allow things to happen to you. When you go through major life changes, there are some critical things you need to pay attention to. And one of them is your finances and your credit. I allowed that to get completely out of control. And that was embarrassing. I couldn't even borrow $10 at that time. And it took me a while to get that resolved. And I never told anybody because that is embarrassing to have a 400 credit score. Okay, everybody knows now. <laughs> I did, I did, but I, I worked myself out of that. But that's a critical mirror moment. Ladies, men, take care of those things. Don't allow those things to be like let go. It's very important. Thank you for sharing that. And, um, you know, what no one knows doesn't have to be, like you said, a, a dirty secret. That is a very, what you shared is, is so significant, right? And, um, you know, we, when you go through a divorce, it's, you know, what do they say? They say it's the very worst financial, you know, situation you could put yourself into, you know, on the top. So it's, it's, it makes sense that that happened. So I appreciate that you're, you're, that you shared that with us. And in fact, um, we have just a, a, a few minutes more here or a few, two minutes more, it looks like. Um, you have actually now started uh, with your life coaching and with your empowerment, you've now started to help people in the financial area. Do you want to just uh, chat about that for a moment? Well, yeah. thank you. Yes. Yes, Lisa, I, I would love to talk about that. So part of my empowerment 
is to help people with what they need now. It's the whole now factor. People losing their jobs, and along with that, they're losing their benefits, health insurance, and life insurance, and also the need to roll over their 401ks. And I, so I said, you know what? Here again, let me rise to the occasion and help people. So I went and got my license in financial services. So I'm a financial coach, and I teach people how to make smart financial decisions, how to buy life insurance, how to buy um annuity, you know, how to invest in annuities for the future, how to eliminate debt. And that's a free program, by the way, that, that we offer is debt elimination. But people don't even know how to buy life insurance or how much they need. And then we have something called living benefits. So that's not just a loss of life benefit. It's a now benefit in case you become critically or chronically ill. So the whole point behind that is I needed it. And I know there are other people out there that need it. So when I discover things, I share them. I chose to be a financial coach because, again, it fits in with my life coaching, and that is to help people achieve and be the best that they can be all around in all segments of their life. I love doing it, and people thank me when I'm finished. They do, and we thank you too, Sabrina Protick, the published author of Growing Ageless, Think Young and Live Younger. We absolutely endorse and encourage um, any woman to join her women's entrepreneurial empowerment group, the WE. And like she said, she uh, has this passion and expertise and experience in helping women in so many areas of their life. So again, uh, Sabrina, thank you for joining what No One Knows, the podcast from Now Publishing. I'm Lisa Marie Garcia, and thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you for listening to our podcast, What No One Knows. If you have a story to share, contact Now Publishing at publish at nowscpress.com. Visit our website, publishwithnow.com, for a free download from our The 90 Day Author book. And let Now Publishing build, publish, and sell your book.